So in this video, we're going to discuss more about tissue repair. And in the last video, we talked about, let's just say, for example, this is a liver here. And we talked about how what would be the outcome if this tissue, this liver here, for example, um, necrosed in this area, what would happen? Well, there's kind of three main parts of, of tissue repair, if you will. Um, these cells right here are going to regenerate. So cells, so let's just say normal cells divide. So that's number one. Number two is blood vessels expand. So as you can already guess, you know, there's blood vessels coming through this area right here. And as this, as these cells, um, as these cells kind of divide and push forward here to re repair this, you know, um, whole one layer at a time, the corresponding blood vessels need to need to expand too, because how are the cells going to get nutrients, and how are the cells going to survive without any blood? So the blood vessels expand with the with the the normal cells cells dividing, and also you're going to have. Do this color. Fibrosis. So you're going to have uh, these fibroblasts. They're also going to help um, um, help with uh, structure. And it might be temporarily. It might be permanent, depending on how well these cells can. Um, do it by you see see how well these cells can kind of maintain or or multiply by themselves. So you're going to have normal cell div division, and they're going to fill this area. Blood vessels are going to expand, and you're going to have fibroblasts that come in here, and they're going to help with structure, tissue structure. And you you might ask, well, how does all this process happen? Well, all this happens happens due to growth factors. So these growth factors are little proteins, and they are going to be secreted in the area that will signal each type of these, each one, two, and three here, they're gonna they're gonna initiate this whole process of tissue repair, and they're going to maintain the process of tissue repair. And cells are constantly, uh, you know, you know these these cells might, um, let's say this cell divides into this cell, and it kind of comes past this line right here. Let's just this is a very crude example, but let's just say it comes past this line where the original was. Well, this cell is gonna go undergo apoptosis. So, and how that cell knows that is because growth factor, for example, will be inhibited from the cell somehow. And we'll talk about this. But, you know, growth factor is going to be inhibited. And so this cell will undergo apoptosis so it doesn't kind of get out of the boundaries here. That's a very crude example. You know, one little cell out there is not going to make a big difference. But um, case in point is that if there if this process kind of goes in the wrong direction these growth factors are removed and then the cells that do not uh, receive the growth factor are will undergo apoptosis and die and so it will kind of come back in um, so growth factors are an important part of this process of tissue repair so in order for us to understand a little bit more about the way cells um, proliferate in a normal physiological way 
and also when cells proliferate in a, in a bad way to produce cancer. Um, let me do this right here. Cancer versus normal cell proliferation. We have to understand a little bit about the cell cycle. And there's stem cells, these stem cells here, and they um, are a, a, cer a certain type of cell. And then they go over to, they form, you know, these stem cells turn into kind of this base cell population. And this, you have this base cell population here, and these are just normal cells, a, a group of cells, and they can um, divide. So you have ton, you have a lot more of them, or they can undergo apoptosis. And they can also regenerate. They can just divide amongst themselves to kind of maintain this base cell population. Or they can, or they can differentiate differentiation they can turn in let's say this is a square cell they can turn into a triangle square or a triangle cell or or uh, you know more of a rectangle square however there's no such thing as a triangle square but but just uh, <laughs> to kind of give an example differentiation is they can turn in for some of this base cell population and they can turn into a different type of cell Almost, almost like uh, metaplasia. And I don't know if you remember that or if you've watched these the videos from the beginning, but we talked about four ways the cells can adapt when there's an injury or a stress put upon them. And one of the ways that they can adapt is metaplasia, converting one cell type to another to have an advantage over the stress that's you know a cell that's more apt to handle the stress of the or yeah to handle that type of stress so you have stem cells kind of just a big picture idea is you have stem cells and they can turn into a base cell population and then this base cell population can regenerate itself by just dividing and creating more kind of maintaining this base cell population they can undergo apoptosis if you know this base cell population is no longer needed or some of these cells are not needed you know you got 500 cells and you only need 250 the 250 will undergo apoptosis and die or it can divide it can proliferate it can uh, just create tons and tons and tons of them if they need to or they can di differentiate and turn into kind of different cells so that's kind of a big picture idea and now let's talk about the um, cell cycle specifically so here's a picture of the cell cycle and each cell that um, you know every cell in your body has is, is stuck somewhere in this cell cycle and this is where it all starts and I got this picture from Robin's basic pathology 8 edition Kumar the author so let's see here every every cell starts here and if the cell needs to be regenerative or if it needs to proliferate or have the future of proliferating then it usually just kinda stays here it stays in this G1 phase. If it's like a nerve, for example, or another cell that um, will never divide, it kind of goes down to this GO, G sub O um, stage, and um, this is never divide. It just kind of stays in this zone right here, and there are this part of the cell cycle, and it doesn't. 
it doesn't divide and in some cases it can get kicked out of this GO up into this G1 pathway you can see by this arrow here but it's not it's not a, a frequent occurrence but it can happen so once this once you're in the G1 phase you grow in mass so your cell becomes bigger you know it starts to expand out this way and you know it starts accumulating more organelles and different things in here and you have your centrosome that that duplicates which is you know this part right here this duplicates these this is called the centrosome and in the cell biology videos we'll talk more about that um, and then there's restriction points and and checkpoints so cells don't want to continue on in this cell cycle without um, um, you know, being a, a a good cell without having all of its, you know, you don't want bad cells to to keep proliferating. In the case of uh, in the case of cancer, you know, we don't want these bad cells to continue to grow and multiply and duplicate. So there's these checkpoints, and these checkpoints uh, check for the DNA, uh, for DNA damage. Because there's there's two, let me just write down here. Uh, there's two key key points in cell division. It's the DNA and mitosis. These are the two key factors in this cell cycle. And so, if your DNA is messed up somehow, or um, there's damage to the DNA that's uh, that can't that you know the cell doesn't want to bring on to the next population of cells. Then there's a checkpoint here, and if it doesn't pass the checkpoint, then it will undergo apoptosis. And if you don't remember what apoptosis is, you can review um, some of the former videos, and we can talk in detail about what apoptosis is and it's program cell death. So after this cell cycle, after this um, cell passes its checkpoint and there's no DNA damage, it will continue on to the S phase. And during the S phase, there's chromosome duplication. So your DNA is duplicated. So inside this nucleus here, you have DNA. You have your little DNA here, and you have chromosomes. I don't want to get into a topic right now of what the difference between DNA and chromosomes and all that stuff is, but just there, there's chromosomes and DNA in here, and they divide during this S phase. And in this G2 phase, they, you know, the process begins or continues and then there's another checkpoint so before you undergo mitosis before you undergo mitosis here you're going to have another checkpoint and the checkpoint is looking for any damage is looking for any DNA that did not duplicate and if it didn't duplicate uh, you know it will just kinda wait here until it duplicates and if it doesn't duplicate then it will undergo apoptosis. You know, it will it will undergo apoptosis and die because what's the point of having a cell that can't function? It's detrimental to your body, so it will get rid of it. So once you pass here, you go on to mitosis. And what mitosis is, is it there's you know steps of mitosis and you can uh, watch other videos or or Google uh, what mitosis is um, but mitosis is just simply the splitting so all that DNA just kind of here talk here let's say there's uh, you know 36 strands now let's just be real simple let's say there's two DNA strands two DNA well you've divided your DNA here so now let's say in this part inside you have four DNA strands four DNA after G2 
So you have two two DNA strands when you started here, and now you come here and you have four DNA because you've dub you've du uh, duplicated it, you've doubled it. And so what happens is that now through mitosis, you're going to split this DNA right down the middle here, and you can kind of see how this is happens here. So this will be one cell, and this will be one cell. So you have two cells now, and they're identical. They have the, you know, this DNA is the same as that DNA, and this DNA is the same as that DNA, and all the way down the line. So they're, they're identical cells. And this cell will undergo, um, will, will go to this cell, and it will either stay in the G1 phase, or it will go into the G, o, G sub O phase, and it will um, go through this process again. And what will happen with this cis, this other cell? Well, it will start another cycle. It will start its own cycle. Another cycle. Another cycle will happen here, and it will you know undergo all these steps that it went in this one. So this is the cell cycle. Um, there's you know these G G1 phase, and there's these. Um, there's these enzymes that are called the cyclins, and these cyclins will help with this cell cycle, and it will help with, um, you know, assisting in these these processes. And I just want to kind of do a big picture overview of the cell cycle in this video, and maybe in future videos we'll talk about this more in depth. But this is just kind of how these these cells replicate and and proliferate if you will so we'll see you in the next video